this process for DVD Studio Pro to open might take a little while, so just wait. Yours might look yours might look a little different depending on your configuration. That's the, what they call is configuration of the setup of how your windows appear on your screen. Some of you might have a smaller screen, or you might have a screen like this. Um, this is the uh, extended configuration. Um, but anyways, um, what I'm going to tell you, no matter how you have it set up, um, just remember the names of everything that I'm going through, and you should be able to find everything. Pretty much everything will look the same. All right, so here we go. All right, so the first step is, while you're in DVD Studio Pro, you're done compressing. This is only when you're done compressing. What you're going to do is you're going to go find the Assets uh, tab over here. Click on that tab. Just click on the word Assets, um, which is normally to your left of the screen. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click right under Assets. It should have the button Import. So you're going to click on Import. Now a browser window, just like what you saw in Compressor, should pop up. Now what you're doing here is very important. You're going to where you made that new folder. I saved my folder on my external hard drive, so I'm going to go there. Some of you might have did it to the desktop or to your Macintosh HD drive. So I'm clicking on my external drive, and then I know my drive in Cinema DVD is right here. I'm going to click Import. So this is going to take a little while. Once it's done importing, you look over to your left of the screen in the Assets tab window. And underneath the Assets tab window, you'll have like the name of your folder and the, um, the DVD data files. You'll have a um, video file represented by this film strip icon and an audio file represented by the speaker icon. And those should be, you should see two files. You shouldn't see one, you should see two files represented by one of those speaker icons and a film strip icon for the video. Now, what I want you to do from the assets window, go over to um, the right and find the graphical tab towards the top of DVD Studio Pro. And it'll say graphical on a tab and click on that just to make sure we're on the right page. So I clicked on the graphical tab. And we're on the right page, and I see um, a blue box that says Menu 1, a green box that says Track 1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the audio and video files from my Assets window and drag, click and drag them both over into the black box of this green Track 1 window. So here, this is how it's done. Take your arrow, grab them both, make sure you have both of them or highlight them both. And then you drag it right into this black window here. And you let go. And some of you, if you have a black um, opening where it uh, fades up from black, you might just see black there. But what it should do, it should have the name of your project, whether it is uh, sequence one or the name of your program. Then click on the menu one box and hit the delete button and delete it gone. Then go over to over to the right bottom window, what should say disk in the first play and not set, you're gonna click on not set. So click on not set and then you're gonna scroll down to tracks and stories. So go to tracks and stories then go over, out of tracks and stories, go over to the name of your program to track. Go over from, go down to tracks and stories, over to the name of your program and go to track right there. Just like so. And then click on track. And once you've done that, go up to the top of your window and you can click simulate to watch a low res preview of your DVD. But if you're ready to go, go to build in format. It'll have a picture of a hammer and an icon of a, a ruler or a progress bar. Click on that build in format hammer. Then the build in format window will open up. And in build in format, you should go down to where it says source. And then over where it says current build, next to that is a button that says choose. Click on choose. 
and then you'll have this um, browser window open up again. And then what we're doing again, we're repeating that step of finding where we made that folder, which mine is Drive-In Cinema DVD, clicking on that folder we made. And then once we've clicked on just that folder that is on, located either on your desktop or your a Macintosh HD or your external hard drive, click on that folder and then go down to the uh, bottom of the window and click choose. Once you've clicked choose, you should see it a little on by next to location, it'll say um, the name desktop or the name of your hard drive or um, so forth. Um, and then it'll say the name of your folder where, where this information is being um, copied because it makes a copy of your DVD information. Then after you're done with that, um, you're going to go down to the bottom of the um, build and format window and click build and burn. And if you haven't inserted a disk, don't worry, your um, computer will pop out. If you have a tray, it'll pop out the DVD tray or it'll prompt you with the window saying stick an empty disk in. Stick an empty disk in. Once you stick an empty disk in, it'll start formatting or what they call the word muxing. It'll say muxing and formatting. Um, that's what it'll start doing. And you just sit here and wait and it should take about like 12 minutes depending on the speed of your computer or 15 minutes, um, maybe even faster, who knows. And you just wait and then once it's done, it'll say formatted successfully and your disk will pop out of the drive like a toaster and you're set. And then you just hit OK on formatted successfully. And then if you need to make another copy, just stick another empty disk in and hit the burn hazard symbol right up here. And uh, once the disk is in, it'll just burn you another copy. And then just save when you close out the project, just hit save and it'll immediately, if you hit save again, it'll immediately um, save it into the folder you created. So just do that and then you can always go back to it to make more copies for friends and family. And that's how you make a very basic, simple DVD from Final Cut Pro to Compressor to DVD Studio Pro. That's the process of making a, a DVD.